send unto them only Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Magnum Martell and welcome back to another beautiful video where we have to talk about some games journalism style stuff. And this is actually pretty big. Now, I'm not one of those people who makes big, long video exposés on certain YouTubers and content creators. I might talk about them on occasion whenever it suits me, but that's really the extent of how far I'll go. If you don't remember, a while back I did a video about Yandere Simulator and Yandere Dev doing an update talking about massive progress being made on the game. Well, since then, things have been pretty fucking quiet. Updates have quietly been rolling out, and the last video he did talking about anything was two months ago. Now, this game has been in development since 2014, so this is actually some big news that I feel like the only reason other people aren't actually talking about it is because they've all just kind of stopped caring. Well, it appears, anyway, it appears that the game is finally finished. Yandere Dev, on September 1st, just a few days ago, uploaded a development blog stating that the game was finally finished. So we're going to take a read here, and I'm going to give you my opinion on it. Hello, fellow teens. About two weeks ago, I finished the 10th Rival. After that, I started working on the ending sequence. It was finished about one week ago. Since then, I've been searching for bugs, fixing anything that looks janky, and adding a final coat of polish to the update to prepare for release. As part of the testing process, I've successfully completed multiple playthroughs of Yandere Simulator from beginning to end, the 10 Rivals update is basically complete. There's only one of t about one to two days left of work until it's 100% finished. I anticipate that I'll be able to begin working on an announcement video very soon. I'm so eager to finally release this update. Almost everything I worked on over the past two weeks was deep, deep into spoiler territory, so I can't share too many details. But there is still a lot of stuff I can tell you about. Scroll down past the whatever logo here to hear more for an, for an announcement that might interest you. Alright, so before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I actually, I've been hoping that this game would finally get released someday. I've only paid enough attention to know when, to know about the progress. I've watched all the videos about Yandere Dev and, sla and slamming on him and all the things that he does. And I've seen all the discourse around how it's pretty obvious that he was just not finishing the game because he was wasting his time doing other things and, and you know what i understand where everybody's coming from i really do i'm not defending him in the slightest here and i wouldn't defend him he was obviously doing a lot of those things maybe not all of it but he was definitely holding off on actually developing the game and yeah he did have a lot of problems his coding was apparently fucking terrible i wouldn't know that's just what i've been told and what people show in those videos but enough about the dramas of the, of the past let's continue onward before I talk about the progress news, I want to quickly acknowledge something really nice and heartwarming that some members of the Yandere Sim community did recently. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of the Osana release date. Oh my god, it has been a year, hasn't it? A group of really sweet fans decided to celebrate the occasion by writing some kind words and creating some fan art. It's really touching to see the community come together to do something so kind hearted and wholesome, and I really appreciate it. This fan-driven project a lot, in case you're interested in seeing the project here, blah blah blah, that's not important. Ending sequence! Alright, now for the good stuff. Because of the Ten Rivals mode, uses simplified cutscenes and simplified events, I originally planned for the ending sequence to be extremely basic. However, the more I thought about the ending sequence, the more I wanted to add to it. With each day I got a little more elaborate and ambitious until it was a far larger in scope than originally planned. For a moment, I was afraid I was going to delay the release of the Ten Rivals update. <laughs> I think we all expected that. To be fair, we've all you've been pretty dark for two months now. But in the end, the entire sequence actually went into the game much faster than anticipated. Here's a spoiler summary of how it goes. Short text, only cutscene, one character. Cutscene with visuals and voice acting, seven characters. Long cutscene that changes based on the player's actions throughout the game, 17 characters. Short text only, one cutscene. Brief 3D cutscene with visuals, two characters. Credits, bonus post-credits scene with specific criteria is met. One character. That's interesting. I like that. Uh, the cutscene that changes based on the player's earlier actions is definitely the main part of the ending sequence. To facilitate that cutscene, the game is now tracking a whole bunch of information that it wasn't tracking before, and there's a new feature that allows the player to see what data is being tracked. Stat screen. There's now a stat screen accessible from the calendar. Blah, 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 blah. Ranking system? What the hell? Problems, effects. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Okay, that's that's not important. So basically, he just goes on and on here about some of the stuff he's doing. Real estate. As discussed in my previous blog post, I plan to create an announcement video to accompany the release of the 10 Rivals update. This is mandatory to me. Big releases are accompanied by announcement videos. That's the way things work in the AAA industry. Not the indie industry. But you know what? You do what you want to do. I'm not even mad about it. Actually, I'm, I'm quite glad. Releasing a huge update and not releasing an accompanying video is extremely unthinkable to me. Unfortunately, the length and time it takes to create the video is wildly unpredictable. Sometimes I spend days rewriting the scripts. Sometimes it takes me a dozen tries to record a narration. I, I can attest to how long a longer video will actually take. Like that 30-minute one I did on him in general, I was at it for almost two days. <laughs> That wasn't a one-day, one-and-done deal. That was a... I was at it for a while. <clears throat> where, where was I at? I lost my place. Oh, I'm satisfied with... And the end, and ending a video can... Editing a video can be a week-long process. I would like to tell you the, to expect the 10 Rivals update sometime mid-September. But if it takes exceptionally long time to make an announcement video, then it might be delayed till late September. And that's... The way things turn out. Please try to be understanding. On top of this blog post, I mentioned the announcement, and here it is. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to post a preview image every day until the 10 Rivals update is released. Sometimes it might be a blurry screenshot. Sometimes it might be a silhouette of a new character. If it takes me 10 days to finish the video, you know, you'll get 10 images. If it takes me 20 days to finish the video, you'll get 20 images. Either way, starting tomorrow, you'll get a daily blog post until the 10 Rivals update is out. Thank you once again for all your patience, and as always... Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Okay, okay. So now that we've read the tedious blog post, let's have a little chit-chat about it. I'm going to be totally honest with all of you guys. I never expected the game act to actually come out at this point. I haven't even been playing the, uh, the fucking pre-build updates in like a year and a half. Maybe even more. I can't remember the last time I actually looked at it. I think it was when the fucking, the, the school counsel, counseling stuff was still new. But I've still at least followed the development and paid attention to what's going on because I've been interested in it. And I've been hoping that maybe someday, eventually, it would finally come out. And you know what? If this is true, if this is real, and it's finally happening, good on you. Maybe all the years of discourse and discontent and hateful comments have made him realize that he was being an ass the entire time. And he just needed to buckle down and get to work. It's been two months since he last released a video updating us on any progress with the game. Which, granted, there's been gaps like that before. And now all of a sudden he's announcing that it's ready. And that he's going to be releasing the final build. That's fucking big. Does that mean he spent the last two months just working 14 hours a fucking day? So my thoughts on the matter, I I'm going to play it. Nah, and when it comes out, I'm totally going to actually play it. I might uh, even use it as some background footage here on the channel from time to time, just for funsies. I might even do a Let's Play on it over on my Let's Play channel, which I haven't done anything with yet. I'm excited to see the full game. I'm excited to see what happens. I know it's not going to be this big AAA quality thing like he wanted it to be. But if he's just sticking to the rudimentary builds they have now and focused on creating a full game, that's good. Because the fact that he's finishing this project shows that he can. If the coding is good and it's not buggy and it's stable and everything works the way it's supposed to, it shows that he did learn and he can improve and he's doing what he should have done from the get-go. There's no reason this game should have taken as long as it did to release, but the fact that it is coming out here in 2021 when he started in, what, 2014? Jesus Christ, he started when I was fresh out of high school. I'm already getting old. I've kind of been on the sidelines of this entire thing. I've been watching what happens and paying attention to the updates, playing the test builds, and ignoring everything else. Just because I wanted the game to come out and I was hoping that it would actually happen. And you know what? I gotta give you some credit, Andre Dev. You actually fucking did it. Well, we'll see. If you, re if you release the update, and I'll believe it when I see it, not until. Because you could say anything to get people interested again. When you release the update and I see it with my own eyes, you did it. Good job. I'm proud of you. You finally got your shit together. And you know what? Maybe next time you do a big project, it won't take you so long. I hope that the people that pay attention and actually try your build don't rip into you too hard. I hope that a lot of the harsher things that said have said to you and about you to calm down a little bit. Because you, you deserve the break. You've already suffered your discourse for your fuck-ups. I think it's time we, call, we can all move past that 
and at least wait and see your full game and just enjoy it because it's finally happened. Can't say that I would be donating to any Kickstarter backing or anything like that. Can't say that I would be supporting any of that. Maybe if it's good enough, if it's really, really fucking good, and you can tell us straight up that you've already got companies interested in making the project even bigger and working more with it, then you know what, yes. But otherwise, I'm just going to play it and encourage you to continue doing your work. It has been a long seven fucking years. It has been a very long, long seven years. And although I know it's not going to happen, I hope that the, m most people here on the YouTube to comment section and here on the internet can be at least mature enough to go, hey, you finally did it. Good fucking job. Let's see what you got. I'm excited to play the game. I really am. And I, I'm, I will be happy to re-download it once this update becomes available. But that's all I have to say about it. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the fact that the game is supposedly finally coming out. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Magna Martell, and I will see you in the next video.